It's time for coffee talk. I forgot my mug. My coffee talk mug is gone. Someone asked me what's the favorite part of FPV and honestly I love flying but I like tearing stuff apart. Does every man pee by shooting between the rim and the water so that the, the, the stream hits the porcelain and doesn't make a sound? And I'll tell you the answer at the end of this video. But first I thought I would point out the E Sheen EV 800 DM mini size with the three inch LCD and diversity and a built in DVR is awesome. It is, but astute people notice there's no power input. So there is a proprietary plug. That's a lot of pa -pa 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 -pa. proprietary plug. So you can charge the 2000 milliamp hour battery on the inside. And uh, yeah, and there's no way to get a different plug in there. There's no way to get a different battery in. So it'll give you about two hours of battery life if you don't use DVR and about an hour and a half if you do use DVR. So that's out of the way. I'm going to break this down. Fortunately, there are four screws on the outside, a clamshell with a pop, four screws on the inside, and it just comes right apart. So we're going to break that down. So to start with, there are four easily found screws along the case itself and they just require a very small uh, Phillips screwdriver but these are screws directly into plastic and they're not Loctite or anything but they are very tight because they're just threaded into plastic so just push in really hard and twist. Pull out the telescoping piece and you'll notice there's a clamshell holding it in. It has two clips you just push in on the bottom and you can dislodge the clips to open and pull out the LCD module. So there are two clips that are actually the problem here and you just push in on the bottom portion and keep from breaking those clips. Once that's in you can just pull out the LCD module in the front half. Once you have the module out you'll notice there's a little guard and it looks like there are eight screws in there but the four in the middle around the LCD screen are not screws they're just screw holes so don't try shoving a screwdriver in there. Ask me how I know. But all you have to do is pull out the little shroud and you can get to the four screws that are actually on the outside. And to do that, you just push up a little bit or you push down a little bit on the shroud and you pop out one side and then you pop out both and that shroud comes right out. Here's a different angle of that shroud because I had more trouble with it than I thought I should. It just has two snaps on top and bottom and you just push one side. But once it's out, you can see four screws along the outer edge and these are once again insanely tight because they're just screwed, they're the coarse thread screwed into plastic. So you have to use one of those screwdrivers, the micro tiny whoop screwdrivers, the small ones that come with it, and really force it in to keep from stripping out the screw. It's a small screw and it's insanely tight. So I'm actually using two hands, one to push down and one to twist. Just keep pressing down and make sure you don't strip the screw heads and it will eventually come out. And once you feel like it, uh, you, yeah, jump, jump for joy. So now you just pull off the shroud. It should come right up and exposes the board with the diversity antennas and the LCD screen. And from here you can see everything and so you'll just simply have to tilt the board itself. I use the antenna holders and just tilted the board up and was able to pull out the module. And once the module's out, you can look at your handiwork. Make sure you don't lose any of the buttons because some of the plastic ones, uh, the little push buttons tend to pop out very easily. And once the module's out, you can look at your antennas and your receiver. Make sure you don't smudge your LCD screen or if you do clean it with alcohol. And there's the battery, finally. And you'll notice it's a very tiny normal connector up top for the battery. And that should make modding this very easy once, once you get the chance. So right here looks like a good spot to put a JST or an XT, uh, XT30 or a JST connector so that you can add one more laptop battery in 18650 or a, one of your old cells if you want to add another lithium ion battery, lithium polymer battery, if you want another, add another LiPo battery on the outside, or if you want to use a case, you can get a standard connector and put it in. I'm going to drill a hole through here 
and um, that's where I'm going to put my connector so I can add another battery. Once this battery goes a little bit, like I like it, so I might, I don't know, but it goes to a standard connector on the inside. And I haven't modified it yet simply because it works right now and I'm not at a point where I need hours and hours and hours at a time. So for me, two hours of flight time is great. So I'm not that worried about it. But I know Kebab asked about it and I wanted to break it down anyway. And someone asked me, what's the favorite part of FPV? And honestly, I love flying, but I like tearing stuff apart. Don't forget, if you like this type of content, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, thank you so much. I love the comments, I love the commentary. And to answer the question, yes, every man pees to that little porcelain area so that they don't make that much noise.